We're going to go through the back squat uh, variation today. So you'll get your standard um, squat set up, rack height and everything. Same as approach the bar, hands as close as we can get them so we keep, can keep a nice tight position, but not that tight where we struggle to get our hands on the bar. We don't want it wide where the bar can then move down the back. So we'll get our good stable position. Kneel from back, unrack, and take a step back so that we know that when we squat down that we're going to be able to sit onto the bench. Okay? So feet angled out, knees will follow the toe direction. At the top, neutral spine, take a breath, fill your belly, and then brace your abs. And then come up fast. So in the bottom portion of the squat, what we'll do is as we descend, we'll slightly relax on the box, but we'll keep the glutes and the quads contracted, and then we'll fire up. Okay. So when we're in this bottom position with the bar on our back, so we've descended, nice and controlled, slightly relax. And then we're going to think about squeezing the glutes, driving the quads and pushing them back through the bar. So we'll come down, relax slightly, squeeze, really drive up, drive the hips forward, drive with the quads, drive it back through the bar so we can get as much speed as we can into that bar and move the weight as fast as possible. And one thing we want to try to avoid is that when we've took this out, and we're squatting down, I don't want to see any rocking back into forwards. That is one way of doing the box squat, but it's not what we're after in this one. So we take it down, we keep our position, and drive up. Okay? So this is all about us being able to drive out of that position without getting the bounce in the squat. So sitting down on this box improves that explosion from that bottom position. Okay, there'll be different heights of benches uh, and boxes. Um, this kind of setup on a gym bench is usually a decent height and a decent depth to work that explosion from.